Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. My name is Hilda, a Calgary mom from Nigeria living in Canada. I work full time and I've been married to my husband for over six years and we are blessed with two adorable children. My son is five and my daughter is two. Today I will take you along as I clean, declutter, organize and yes, pack up my kitchen. Now in the somewhat exciting news, we are moving. <laughs> Now I say somewhat because packing is a lot of work and seeing as I am not taking time off work to pack, it's taking up most of my free time. I plan on videoing the entire process of packing that I will be doing myself, so stay tuned for that. If you like videos on cleaning, motherhood and lifestyle, then keep on watching. Thanks to the boom in Calgary real estate, the owners of this house we were renting decided to sell, which is kind of good for us as it gave us the push we needed to move on. Anyways, the kitchen wasn't super dirty today. I just started by sorting out the meals that were on the countertop and then picking up all the out of place items and putting them in the right places. So dirty cups and plates in the sink and trash in the bin. Then I scrubbed the pots and plates slightly and loaded the dishwasher. Next, I saw through the cutlery and cooking knives and spoons to figure out like the ones we need for the next two weeks and then I wrapped the rest with the kitchen towel and the nylon film. If you have tips on packing and moving, please leave it in the comment section below. I would really love to know how your day is going, if you have moved recently and what tips you have to make the moving process seamless and a little less daunting. Here, I pulled out the plates to pack them. We had this kind of buffer material that came with the dining chairs. I'm not sure what it's called. I just cut it into squares and put the paper towel and the buffer material in between the plates to avoid any breakage. And then I packed the plates in a separate carton so that I can mark that carton as fragile. Before I continue, I would like to say a big thank you. Thank you for taking out time from your busy day, your busy schedule, to click on and watch my video. Your support means a lot to me. Thank you to all my returning subscribers. If you're a new viewer, you're most welcome. If you like videos on cleaning, motherhood and lifestyle, we would love to have you join the family. So please, click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you're part of this amazing family and you also get notified each time a new video drops. Mm -hmm. 
For the knives, I tried facing them inwards before I wrapped with the kitchen towel and nylon wrap. And that's so that the sharp edges don't cut through the wrap or cut my hand. Now we had a bunch of boxes in the basement so I'm using what is available in the house first to pack before I start looking for any other box. Here, I moved to the plastic and pot cabinet and decluttered the plastic first. I started with what we didn't need anymore, which was a lot, and kept uh, the plastics that we needed in the box. And then I packed most of the things in the pot cabinet and the box also. Once I was done, I used the Gorilla Tape to tape the bottom and the top of the box so nothing falls through. And then I wrote down what was in each box on the box so we can always find things when we need them because I'm not sure we will be able to unpack immediately we get to the next the other house. <music> Back to the kitchen sink. I unloaded the dishwasher and wiped down all the surfaces with my DIY cleaning solution. Today I used one part orange peel soaked vinegar and one part water with a few drops of Don G soap for the DIY cleaning solution. Lastly, I vacuumed the floor. I was able to pack three boxes of kitchen items today. I am nowhere near done, but I'll take it one day at a time. Thank you for watching my video to the very end. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, comment with your packing suggestions and tips, and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next one.